International policing organization Interpol warns environmental crime is now one of the most profitable forms of organized crime, with the illegal ivory trade alone estimated to be worth up to 100 billion rand a year. Kenyan authorities agree poaching has reached crisis levels. Kenya stands at a crossroads in as far as uh, environmental criminal activity in this country is concerned. We have seen in the recent months the one-ton destruction of elephants and rhinos in this country. The most alarming rate, I think 190 elephants have been killed so far this year. And uh, I think for us this is a crisis of unprecedented proportion. Kenya lost 35 rhinos to poachers this year, significantly less than the number killed in South Africa. But the country has already taken drastic measures to curb this crime, setting up a crack paramilitary unit to hunt down poachers and tightening up its legislation. But these criminal networks often operate across borders with impunity. That's where Interpol is hoping to assist its member countries. That is why our work brings us together the world of Interpol and the world of the United Nations Environment Programme in the sense of establishing both at the international level but also supporting countries in developing the legislation, the norms and standards and also the enforcement capacity to try and arrest what is at the moment a rapidly escalating environmental crime wave. Interpol dismissed speculation that poaching could be funding terrorist groups like Al-Shabaab. You would like to know if there is a link with illegal poaching and terrorists. You know, my answer will be very clear. I'm a policeman. And to make a such assertion, I have to have evidence. And at this stage, there is no evidence. The organization says fighting wildlife crime is a priority as it often occurs hand in hand with other offences like human trafficking and drug smuggling. Voldy Karlsa, SABC News, Nairobi, Kenya.